Hi everyone. You've probably seen at least one magic trick, and perhaps you didn't figure out the secret behind it. Simple tricks of street or card magicians are easy to figure out just by searching on the internet and looking at some tutorial videos. But today, we're going to uncover the secrets of some of the most popular tricks which stayed unsolved for years. So are you ready for some magic? Here are 7 famous magic tricks revealed. Let's get it on. Phone in a Bottle The phone in a bottle trick is one of the most popular and amazing nowadays. All the cool and famous magicians show it during their performances. However, there's nothing supernatural about it, although it might seem like it. Here's the trick itself. The magician holds a plastic bottle or any other container in his hands. It doesn't matter, actually. To make it seem more real, he can even ask the audience for an empty soda bottle. The illusionist shows everyone that it's a normal empty bottle, safe and sound, and gives it to someone to prove that there's no tricky parts in it. He turns it in his hands and closes it with the cap. Then he asks for someone's cell phone and also shows that to the audience, proving the phone is real. And finally, one, two, three, and the phone magically passes through the walls of the bottle and ends up inside. The magician shakes the bottle, looking like a winner, and the viewers are completely shocked. But how is it possible? The secret is incredibly simple, and even a child can perform this trick using special equipment. Do you know how easy this is for me? The magician wears a finger stall with a small but very sharp blade. And after showing to the audience that the bottle is whole, he secretly cuts a long line in the bottle, big enough to push the phone through. To make it more discreet, you can wave your hands and say spells, and then quickly push the phone into the bottle. The important thing here is to not fail and not to shame oneself. <laughs> coin In order to perform this trick, you'll need a coin, a glass table, and of course, magic hands. Oh! The magician shows that all the props are real and hits the table with the coin. One of his hands is under the glass, and with the other he puts the coin on the table, and then covers the coin with it. And now it's magic time. The magician takes off the top hand, and miraculously, the coin ends up in the other hand. It's impossible, you might say, but we know these cheaters, so we'll tell you the secrets of this trick. Well, first, obviously, the illusionist uses two identical coins, which are also false and made from steel. Before the performance, he hides one of the coins in the palm that will be under the table later, and he just puts the second coin on the table. But the most interesting thing is the ring on this hand. It's a magnetic ring that attracts the coins. Holding the coin in the hand under the table, the magician covers it with a magnet that works even through the glass table. Now he pulls the lower coin towards the upper coin. That's almost it. Now he only has to lift the hand. The coin on the table sticks to the magnet, and the one under the table falls right in the hand. Incredible trick, right? Car Disappearance We'll start with one of the most famous tricks in the world, the disappearance of an Orient Express dining car by David Copperfield. We're sure everyone's seen this superb trick, but if you haven't, then we'll tell you what it's about. There's a train car parked and some people around making a circle and holding each other's hands. The assistants of the great magician cover the car with a huge cloth so nobody can see it. Suddenly, the car starts to float into the air, and then David pulls the rope attached to the cloth and takes it out. When it falls on the floor, everyone can see that the car has just literally vanished into thin air. What? Pure magic, you'll probably exclaim. But actually, Copperfield is just a great illusionist and a real master of his craft. Until just recently, many people thought that they'd been built a special car that shrinks and goes underground. But actually, that's not the case. The car doesn't go underground, nor does it shrink. No, no, no. No! 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 What? 
The thing is that the car is pulled out of the cloth and rolled off on the railways behind two light displays. The fabric covering the car stays in the air, just where the car was. It covers a construction hanging from four cables. This construction follows the shape of the car's roof. It was on the roof all the time, and the fabric that was supposed to cover the roof actually covered the construction instead. <laughs> this is how this first class trick was performed, my friends. Wow Cut the rope. Here's another popular trick that can really confuse you. It requires a rope and a pair of scissors. The magician shows the props to the audience, proving that it's all whole and real and folds the rope, making a loop. Then he takes the scissors and cuts the rope in front of everyone. Now it's time for some magic spells and waves, back and forth. And here's the rope, whole again. How has he done that? I don't know. You'll be surprised, but it's elementary. The secret is that beforehand, the magician prepared a similar piece of rope, hid it in his hand, and used it when it was time to cut the rope. But when? Remember, before cutting the rope, the magician made a loop, so this loop turned out to be the prepared piece of rope. He didn't even touch the long rope. And during the magic waves, he just hid the cut parts in one hand, and then showed the whole rope in the other. Hand through glass. Everyone's heard about the magician known as Dynamo. His tricks are incredible. But we were wondering how he does some of them. Particularly this one, with his hand passing through the glass. Look closely. His hand seems to have no problem at all while passing through the glass and getting the jewellery. The other hand seems to be hiding something though. But no, he takes it out and there's nothing. Amazing, right? In order to make this trick, there's a special glass with a hole in it. But how come we don't see it? The thing is that the glass is moving. The other hand covers the hole while the glass is shifting. The glass moves thanks to a special mechanism controlled by a pedal under the table. This is how the most impressive tricks are usually done. Chain through the neck. Here's another famous trick from another famous magician, Chris Angel. For this trick, he used a chain. It's absolutely real, without cuts or cracks, and made of iron. The magician asked the audience to test its integrity. Okay, now everyone's made sure it's real. Let the magic begin. The illusionist takes the chain and wraps it around his neck, making a knot. Next, he asks some of the viewers to pull both ends of the chain. But it's terrible, you might think. His head's gonna come off. No way, friends. This is a great magician we're talking about. So the viewers pull the chain and it just falls off his neck. Ovations, applauses, the audience admires the illusionist. But the question is, how did he do that? Easy peasy, it's really about the sleight of hand. The magician knows a special technique to make fake knots, so this knot looks just like a normal knot, and he always has his pretty hair to hide what the audience mustn't see. So he doesn't even need an assistant. Sword Stabbing The trick you're seeing right now just blew the minds of the audience of the show Britain's Got Talent. We're glad to introduce this guy to you. His name is James Moore, and this is a trick that puzzled thousands of people. To be honest, we spent a lot of time racking our brains over it. But we finally solved this for you, and the performance goes like this. The assistants place the magician on the tip of the sword and leave him. In a few seconds, the weapon goes through his body, shocking the viewers. And here's the secret. The magician has a special construction hidden under his clothes. When the assistants place the magician on the supposedly sharp sword, it folds, hiding the edge, and enters the hole in the construction, holding James in the air. On his chest, he also has a mechanism that pushes a fake sword, making the impression that the magician is being stabbed. Really sophisticated, don't you think? We'd never think of something like this. 